everyone. My name is Nicola and I am Simply a Stitcher. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, it's great to have you. And if you are returning, thank you for coming back and spending some more time with me today. So as you can see today, I am sitting on my stitching shelf. Artwork is by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I'm stitching this two over one on some 25 count magic guide, uh, even weave, and I'm currently almost 17% complete. So I've done uh, almost 60 stitches so far today, so we're going to see how far we can get in this hour. And as this cross sti uh, this uh, stitch with me is one of my chatty ones. We'll also look to answer your comments as well. And it looks as though I've got a lovely lot today. So thank you very much for that to everybody who comments on my videos. I'll just as well say at the outset that um, on every one of my Stitch With Me videos, I do link in the top right hand corner. So if you hover your mouse somewhere over here, little I will appear. You can do it at any point during the video, but if you click on that I, you can go to the video of where I start and end my threads because it is a question that I do get asked a lot and I do um, have that video there. I'm looking to do an updated version and to talk about slippage as well because this came up in my live video uh, at the end of last week. So, um, yeah, I will be looking to do an updated video. It's just as ever, when time allows. So, yeah, I um, hope everybody's doing well. Um, as I said, I've got a lovely lot of comments to go through, which is always a pleasure, never a chore. I do enjoy seeing and reading your comments. Now, I'm keeping the um, focus well I say focus it's not the focus I'm keeping a little bit far out on this one because I'm going to be traveling along sort of this section and it's a way I can keep everything in the frame without having to you know move the frame I I can just just sort of sit away how would you look at that That's better. So it is a dull November morning. We've had another storm here in the UK, Storm Kieran. Fortunately, um, we had we had quite a bit of rain, but we didn't have as much high wind. Uh, and from what I understand, that people in the Channel Islands here in the UK. Um, had had actually a, a tornado of all things um but we've been very fortunate here where i live we've just had a lot of rain a little bit of wind but not so much for it to become a concern if that makes sense um i've seen pictures on the, the new sites this morning of you know people's caravans being lifted off their moorings and um Go on. Um, you know, a lot of, of of storm damage, but I think we here have been have been very fortunate. Again, we've we've managed to sort of miss uh, the bulk part of it. But of course, you know, my my thoughts are with everybody who has been impacted negatively uh, by these storms. We're still recovering from um, the last one, and now here comes another. Um, it's just now a case of what next. I think November seems to be our month uh, for stormy weather, uh, October, November time. But there we go. So, yeah. Um, what else has been going on? I've been busy at work. And in, in view of the storm, we were told not to travel into the office at one of the days this week, just in case we would have any difficulty in getting home 
Um, so I worked from home. I worked in the office two days this week. I've worked from home two days. Today is the third day working from home. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's been a bit of a difficult week at work this week, but like everything, I'll persevere and I will pass over that little hump as it comes. So there we go. Um, what else is going on? Um, went to weight loss last night and I've lost another four pounds. So that's two stone, eight and a half pounds. Or if you do it another way, 36 and a half pounds. No, yeah, 36 and a half pounds. Um, so yeah, I'm very pleased with that. Got slimmer of the week again. I'm, I'm pretty sure that one of these days I'm going to get a lynch in. <laughs> Um, and, and it was really nice. I, I, you know, I needed two and a half pounds to make the two and a half stone off, and I did four. So, you know, I'm already a pound and a half towards my next goal, which is three stone off. So that means I have five and a half. Yeah, five and a half pounds to go, and I'll be at three stone off. So, which will be marvellous. Um, and I'm going to be about halfway there, I think, on the journey by then. Um, I've done 12 weeks to get to this point, And I know that my weight loss is going to slow down. I can't always have these. You know what I mean? I'm averaging £3 a week. I can't have that all the time. And I get that. But while it's going and while it's lasting... Oh my goodness, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> As I'm sure, uh, you know, you guys can, can appreciate. I noticed that my shoulders um, and sort of top half look a bit less chunky. Uh, Andy reckons that I've lost some weight off my backside because it's not, in his words, not as much to grab. Um, so... You know, I mean, obviously it is coming off. It's just seeing where it's come off now and my mind catching up with my body. Um, obviously, losing weight is a big thing. Um, I'm really pleased and proud of what I've done. And it won't be long that I will have to be able to come out of stretchy clothes and go into nice fitted ones again because... I'm sure that, you know, some of you ladies would agree that as a, as a woman, when you get to sort of that stage that you are heavier than you'd like to be, we just go for what's easiest. We don't necessarily go for what's fitted or anything like that. We just go for what we can wear and not be uncomfortable, i.e. not have, um, you know, a, a like a fitted waistband digging in or you know, something like that. We, we just really go for what's comfortable. And that's been me for a number of years, just really going for what's comfortable. So. Okay. There have been a few times when I've worn outfits that uh, wasn't um, fitted. It wasn't uh, stretchy and I have worn fitted. But they are few and far between, I have to say. Okay. So, I'm going to get cracking with some of your lovely comments. Move along a wee bit. That's better. Connect this thread and then we'll get on. Cat hair. This is not even down here. The cat has taken to occasionally coming and sitting on the arm of my chair and trying to literally walk across my stitching. <laughs> she might appear this morning when she realises that we're the only two people left in the house. 
Okay. So the first comments are on live stream number seven. So not last Sunday, it's the Sunday before. Um, I've had to, even with these live stream videos, put my comments to hold, held for review um, because I did have a spammer turn up on there. Um, the first comment is from Sherry, who says, thanks for the video. Your progress is looking good. Um, I think I was working on Sailing Fairy on that one. I can't quite remember. And then Kells Bells says, lovely video again. Great progress. I'm loving your projects. I've watched Andy's video a few times to boost your new project, courtesy of Andy for you. Well, um, you, if you'd seen my live stream eight and my floss tube that I released on Tuesday, you will know that we did indeed achieve this goal. And I have ordered my new kit. Um, I was going to have a look at the Ho Ho Ho, but I, even though I understand it is a large piece, the outlay for it, the cost for it, did kind of price me out of it. It was much more um, than I wanted to spend. Um, so me and Andy had a look through the website together and we chose a kit together. So... So he's well over 100,000 views now. And I set him a monetary goal, an earnings goal in YouTube. And he's also achieved that. So I'm so pleased. Absolutely thrilled to bits for him. So Danny crossed it 10 days ago. Then on the live, uh, says, I caught the live. I was on until the end. Now I'm going to watch from the beginning. Thank you, Nicola. It's no problem. I do enjoy making these videos, whether it be a live a stitch with me or a um, floss tube. Um, you see myself in them. You, you see me as I would be. If you were sat here with me, I'd be exactly the same. I'd probably swear a bit more because I do tend to swear. Um, I, uh, I've been known to turn the air blue on occasion. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just me and I just focus on being me. Um, and I do hope that that comes across. I'm, I'm a... I wouldn't say I'm a complex person, but I'm a person who I like comedy, I like humour. Um, I have a sarcasm streak, but I'm also genuine. I'm honest, and I will, you know, buckle down and get on with things if that's warranted as well. I'm, I can, I can flit easily from one thing to another, and not, you know. Um, don't cut any corners on the way, if that makes sense. So, while you guys are watching these videos, I'm going to carry on making them. Um, it gives me the impetus to carry on, because I know that, you know, lots of you watch them and you appreciate what I do. The comments are just a, you know, a mere reflection, a short, a small reflection of that. Um... And it, it, it's wonderful that, uh, you know, when I get some feedback that says, you know, I learned something from you today. Uh, I've never been a teacher, but yeah, hey, I'll, I'll take that. So again, on my live stream, the lovely, uh, no, not on my live stream, apologies. On my Flosh Tube 64, Salita says, love you both. We love you too. Okay, let's just connect this one. Mrs. Miggins says there's a crochet channel hooked by Robin, which might help Lauren. 
Um, she's also talking about Andy's video and telling him to, to telling me to tell him uh, to please say you put a lot of time and energy into your videos, Andy. Yeah, he does. Um, and I do pass on all of your comments to him as they come in. Uh, so Andy's very aware that you guys are rooting for him as well. And, uh, you know, he's he's delighted that he's he's reaching, you know, another audience, uh, as it were. And some of his viewers watch my channel too, uh, which is great, you know. Uh, Kels Bells says, uh, again, I'm a flush tube. All of your projects are gorgeous. And you and Andy are very cute. <laughs> His videos are so informative and enlightening. Thank you both uh, for your lovely input and videos and keep it going. Yeah, me and Andy have got, uh, a, a, you know, a, quite a strong marriage. You know, we we can finish each other's sentences. We can laugh with each other. I mean, don't get me wrong. When, you know, when it hits, we, we, we there is a bit of fire. But it, it's it's good and it's healthy. And, you know, and we're, we are a strong couple. We've got through. We've gone through quite a lot together. Um, he was a support to me when my mum died. He was a support to me when my dad died. So we're within five months of one another. And in the middle of it, my marriage to my first husband broke down. And it wasn't the reason for the breakdown of that marriage. Uh, it had been coming for a long time. Um, but he was there as a support when I needed it, where my ex-husband was not. Uh, Sharon Marie says, nice progress, and I'm glad Andy's channel's doing well. Yep, so is he, so am I. It's uh, it's lovely to have good progress and um, see his channel flourish. He's had a number of new subscribers recently as well, which... Has also given him a massive boost. Um, the lovely Jody says, really enjoyed the visit and your amazing progress. And yes, Andy, I watched and loved your video. And today I even saw you in the rain and loved this one too. Um, Andy's uh, vid Andy will go out and film Rain or Shine. So some of the videos that you'll see him in, he will be literally wet through. And other ones he'll be sweating away, sunglasses and hat on. <laughs> um, and she also sends on a message of congratulations to him. And Patricia uh, congratulates me. Presumably that is on the... Upcoming acquisition of a brand new kit, thanks to Andy and his his work. And my bet, and me reminding him that he is better than he thinks he is. Because the only person who doesn't have confidence in him, in Andy, is Andy. And that is my next mission, to build on his confidence. So I was talking about um, time differences on my last on my Floss Tube sixty four because as my um, live stream is coming up, of course it changes the timings, especially for those who are overseas. So Pauline Robbery says we've put our clocks forward in Australia, so now she has to navigate a two hour difference. Um, she's thrilled at Andy's video success and enjoyed watching it as she remembers the show and she's looking forward to seeing my new kit. Uh, and again on my flush tube, the Linda says that Amy Stewart kit piece is so beautiful. Yep, it is. I mean the colours in this are just amazing. Um, and it just comes together so well. And it's one of those that you have to literally finish. 
it's when if you look at the piece from a distance and if you look at a piece close up you will see things in each one that you can't see in the other if that makes sense when i'm looking at the piece close up and stitching a little bit it just like looked like a blob of color and then it'll all of a sudden make sense and then looking at it from a distance i can't see those little bits you know it, it's it, it's a piece that's full of surprises i think that's the best way of putting it it's full of surprises so sue landry Oak says uh of course we watched andy's video we support our cross stitch sister in getting a new kit and winning a bet it was a great video though um i enjoyed hearing about the corner store that was used it's now a salon and the clips that were shown yeah it, it was an absolutely great video so you're absolutely right i don't know i mean do you have um bbc comedies sort of syndicated out in in canada you have to let me know did you do you watch any british comedy at all And then Norma says, I'm so impressed at the progress you've made on these five projects. Thank you, Norma. Just traveling a wee bit for this one a sec. Um, they're all looking fabulous. I also enjoyed very much watching Andy's video. He's very deserving of the views he got on it. I'm also thrilled that you will likely win. <laughs> uh and get to choose another kit yeah well definitely i mean i it was a hundred thousand views by christmas which was the original wager um but it happened by halloween so um yeah it's um i could see it come in and andy couldn't go figure So Mrs. Miggins gives me a bit of a running commentary. It says, by the Wednesday, it's 97,500. And then she talks about my diet and she says, I know Slimming World's changed since they did it. Do they still recommend uh, frittatas and omelette, baked flan, bake flan in the oven, which could eat all day with no sins? Yet yeah, we do have the crustless quiche, if that's what you're sort of talking about. Uh, eggs, cottage cheese, and then whatever vegetables or meats that you sort of throw in that's on plan. And uh, in the oven it goes. I enjoy listening while I make dinner. Andy's voice is very good in his videos. See you soon. Yeah, Andy, Andy's got an amazing voice that comes across on videos. He's been told lots of times that he could be sort of some kind of a presenter, but you know, I, I think he just enjoys doing his own videos more than anything. I don't think he'd want to present somebody else's work, as it were. Missing floss card. Oh, there it is. It's just buried. It's not missing. Okay. So Linda says, uh, I really enjoy your style of stitching and I've started using it, although I'm not game enough to finish the ends as close to the fabric, fabric as me. So she leaves a one centimeter tail and trims later um if you have seen haven't seen my how i start and then my threads even though i'm trimming close to fabric the thread is quite secure underneath um and it's simply because i'm very lazy and i don't like to flip my work uh, where i can help it <laughs> 
So, yeah. Um, even though it's right close to fabric, what I'm, I am doing is I'm pulling the thread and having some tension on the thread, snip it, and then the thread end kind of just goes back through the fabric. Um, and then it gets sort of, you know, caught up and stitched in as I continue stitching over um, over the piece. Hope Andy didn't find my needle. No, he didn't. I found it. Um, his feet are saved. But then again, you know, if his feet weren't saved, that would teach him for going around with no shoes on. Um, I keep saying he needs a pair of slippers, but he won't. Um, he won't wear them. Uh, he he much prefers sort of walking around in bare feet, which is fine in the summer, you know, pad around in the house in bare feet in the summer. But in the winter, it would be a little bit cold because my kitchen and dining room have got a heavy tiled floor. So bare feet on that tile floor for me would be quite cold. Uh, he tends to wear, he usually does wear socks, but if he's been out delivering and it's been a wet day, He'll come in and he'll take the socks off because they'll be wet too. So he's literally most of the time padding around in bare feet. So if the needles find him, not my fault. <clears throat> so Katinka comments on Sailing Fairy, uh, that it's a really beautiful colour combination. Yeah, it is. Uh, I had to take my eyes off my own work several times during the video so I could admire it. The colour palette is absolutely beautiful uh, for Sailing Fairy and I really, really enjoy working on it. It might be out on my live on Sunday. Um, it might just be time for it to come out again, which will be nice. Uh, although I will sort of, you know, look at that a bit nearer to the to the day. It might be Mary Princess. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Depends what I get done in the next sort of couple of days. Um, on my Daughter of the Deep video, uh, the Linda comments that I love that. I have it in a diamond painting to do. It's a very intricate piece, isn't it? Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying stitching on it. Uh, even though I'm only sort of in, you know, seawater at the moment, it's fine. Again, it's another piece with, with a lovely colour palette, so. I have a butterfly here. Little blue butterfly coming in. <clears throat> and then Mrs. Miggins counsel that, you know, we, we actually did make uh, the 100,000 on Andy's video. So a couple of comments with that. And Clara uh, comments to say, boy, how do I understand the... Uh, stitching 30 confetti stitches in an hour um she's just ordered the ho 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 um it, hoping it's a nice one i just received the boot kit and it's not me unless it had been a cute dark art i would have liked it the extra in the kit were cute however hey ho uh we change our clocks the first weekend in november and gain an hour uh, and i enjoyed the blues going well against my nail polish <laughs> still got the nail polish getting them done though i think this week um, and she says she'll see us next time. So I put out a flush tube extra last weekend with the uh, Halloween themed kit that came out by Gecko Rouge in a Halloween box. It wasn't the Gecko Boo. It was just a, a you know, special Halloween themed kit, you know, more like a, a limited edition. Um, and Leslie Duncan comments, I have to start this one soon. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, well, I'm considering, even though I said no new starts, making it my work project next year. Um, you know, depending on getting my princess done. But then I think, well, I've got plenty of patterns in Pattern Keeper that need to be done. And She Sleeps could lend itself to going into the office. And, you know, it, I'll have to have a you know, a bit of a think about, about, you know, when I can look to start that one. Uh, 
but I do agree it's absolutely beautiful. Only a 36, 36 colours in it as well, so it's not a massive colour palette. It's a nice size. Sharon comments that it's a fabulous kit, and the Linda says it's uh, she loves the rendering. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Um, Jodie asks on this one. No, yeah, Jodie asks, uh, do you stitch the background on it too? Uh, no, on the cover, the extra sort of colours um, are you know, simply to, to make that cover, um, to make it sort of pop a little bit. Um, it's the cat and the moon. So it will be done on a, you know, on a white background. Um, I think it will probably blend itself quite nicely to, um, you know, a blue or a pur or even a purple sort of fabric. But I will stick with what I've got in the kit, I think. Um, because I think even if I stitch it on white with a, you know, get it, get a nice mat for it, it'll, uh, it'll come out well, I think. Norma says, what a gorgeous kit, enjoy stitching. Oh, I will. When the time comes, I will. <laughs> I think I might very well. I know that 2024 is no new starts, but I think 2025 for me I might do the year of the gecko and get all of my gecko rouge kits out. That could be an idea, eh? Because I've got Lorna Lane Magpie, I've got Lorna Lane B, I've got that Terra Mango one, the Halloween one. I've got this other one that's on the way, plus. Um, I'm a member of the gold club, so next year I'll have a voucher come in for another one. So I'm wondering if I could could put 2025 as the year of Gecko. That might be an idea, eh? Kelly Crafter says, lovely kits. I just love geckos. I'm ordering one today. What have you ordered, Curly Crafter? Is it the same? Is it different? Let me know. Because I'm nosy. <laughs> Sherry says thanks for the video and love your new project. Uh, then Sue says great kits. Congratulations on the new edition. I hope you enjoy stitching it wherever you decide to start. I'm looking forward to seeing which gecko rouge you chose for the winning the better as well. Well... <clears throat> I will, of course, unbox that for you guys uh, as well. So don't worry about that. We will get to see that new gecko. So on my most recent uh, live stream, live stream number eight, uh, Jody says, uh, I'm sorry I didn't get to say goodbye. Hope you all have a very good night. Another live that I've enjoyed spending time with you while stitching. These lives are tending to sort of go on for about an hour and a half now. Um, because, I, you know, an hour doesn't seem long enough. But an hour and a half is about right. After about an hour and a half of stitching, I am ready then to get up and have a, a bit of a walk around and a stretch. So, I think an hour and a half is uh, is the future of lives and as ever it's just nice to spend the time with like-minded people it's not easy to find people in real life who stitch uh, I mean obviously I've got a few in real life stitchy friends I also have lots of stitchy friends who are living in my computer and my phone and getting to spend the time with you guys is just incredible. Okay, so Clara comments on my kit saying that, gosh, these are gorgeous colours of floss. I love the purple and orange Halloween colours. Such a cute chart. Thank you for sharing your unboxing. 
The kitty pin is adorable. It'll make a great needle minder. Just cut off the back and glue on a magnet and voila. Uh, I'm keeping the kitty pin as a kitty pin. It's uh, um, attached to, well, it will be attached to um, my lanyard at work. I have a lot of charity pins uh, on my lanyard for work. Um, but I have got some other beautiful pins that I would like to sort of showcase because I don't really get a chance to do that, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. But I agree, it would make a gorgeous little needle minder. Clara says, also on my Josephine wall. Lovely stitching, I was stitching winter cold along with you. It's a retired chart from Charting Creations. Uh, it's by Mad Art Designs. I'm stitching in all my hanging threads. Come on. Oh, thank you. Yikes, it's a lot, but little by little, it's getting done. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I try to have the only kit now that I've got parking on any in any sort of substantial way is Night Cafe. Um, every other kit, I'll pick up a strand and I'll try and use the entirety of the strand if I can. Um, sometimes it's not always possible, but, you know, I will aim to, to do so. And then this kit and others like it do lend themselves to picking up a short piece um, you know, that I've, I've sort of used partially on another project. Uh, you might have noticed me stitching in a couple of short strands on this one. So. Uh, Lynn, crazy stitcher comments on my starting and ending my thread saying thanks so much. Lynn, do let me know if my method works for you. Um, it's one of those things that takes some time and practice to get right, but once you're into doing it, it becomes second nature. Just going to grab a quick drink. Brittany says, I can't wait to get a gecko. Um... Is that stitch completed? Yes. Uh, I really, really, really want the Morticia one. It's gorgeous, yeah. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the film and character ones don't tend to appeal to me. I like nature and, you know, and animals and scenery, hence, you know, obviously I've got my bee, my magpie, my cat, uh, two cats, actually, because I've had this one as well from Gecko. Um and the next one coming. The only clue I'm giving you is that it's a scenery pick. And the kits are very beautiful and well worth the money. Given the hours of enjoyment that you actually get out of working on them, I definitely think they're worth the money. We said to Andy, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't gamble. Um, the bin goes out more than I do. So, you know, my pleasure is in cross-stitch. That's what I do. Sharon Marie says, love it. On this new kit, I'm sure you'll start sooner than you plan to. <laughs> I'll use this opportunity to say I'm way behind with videos. I do plan to catch up. I only watch Frost Tubes when I'm stitching. And I haven't been doing much of that. Uh, I'll not be back at work this year, so I have plenty of time to catch up. Sharon, um, I hope everything's okay. 
uh, I, I have commented on one of your Facebook posts um, and I'll not sort of go too much into it unless you want people to know. Um, but I do hope that you're OK and I'm often thinking of you um, and do feel free to reach out if ever you want somebody to chat with. You know how to to reach me. Geo, my lovely friend Geo. I've been out of the loop. Good work on the weight loss. Thank you, Geo. Uh, slow and steady and able to continue. Yep, that's what I'm aiming for with the weight loss. Do it slow and steady. It's taken a long time to go on. It ain't going to be a quick job to take that weight off. Um... She says, the colours in this area, uh, talking about my sailing fairy, are beautiful. Yep. A little bit of interesting colours sort of coming up in the bit that I'm stitching at the moment. Um, my stitchy bug has kind of hid, oh dear. Don't have the desire to stitch what I have. Um, I've requested a quick stitch of the Love Letters Chocolate Shop by Amy Stewart. And I'll start that once uh, Hayde publishes the crop. You know, I find myself sometimes that, you know, when I, I've lost my stitchy book, what I've tended to do is, is that I've had lots of magazines where there's been a little little cover kit. I mean, that little cover kit, you've been able, to, I've been able to make something like, I don't know, a key ring or a scissor keep or, you know, or something, something very small. So I don't feel overwhelmed. Might be worth having a look, uh, Joe. You know, see if there's a little kit that kind of takes your fancy. Maybe like I don't know, something like one of the little Mill Hill ones, um, or you know, a little mouse loft kit. Just something that you know is was big enough to fit in the only just big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. But you can just sit and stitch it. Not not too much. Not too little. And it might just incite your stitchy bug to come back. That's what I'd do anyway. But I shall go and look for that crop myself <laughs> when it's published. Heaven and Earth Designs did publish a freebie chart as well. And it's like, um, it's not my thing. It's a haunted house. And there are two, a couple of, a couple of three massive pumpkins in the fore foreground. And it, it, the pumpkins were a little bit overwhelming for me. I mean, I know I could crop it down, but then I'd lose sort of something of the picture. Um, but if uh, Halloween stitches are your thing, uh, there is that newly published freebie. Leslie Ann says, lovely new kit. Thank you, Leslie Ann. E, I absolutely love it. And, you know, those boxes, you know, they're just gorgeous. And I will be able to use those going forward as well. I'm pretty sure. Donna Patterson comments on my latest live. Hi, Nicola and Andy. I like watching your lives, but I don't watch all. So I watch it again the next day. It gives you more viewing time. And I've subscribed to Andy's channel and I really enjoy them. Andy appreciates every subscriber he has. So thank you for that, Donna. I will binge watching them all. And he was delighted when he heard that one, that you'll be binge-watching them all. Uh, you'll see me crop up in a few of them as well. Um, congrats on the weight loss. You're fabulous and an inspiration to all, especially me. Thank you. That's a really lovely thing to say. Uh, I'll be looking forward to more of your video as well. No plans to stop. Um, I'm even sort of plotting and planning what I'm going to be doing around Christmas time. So... Um, I will 
um, there might be not not next Tuesday, the Tuesday after. I may not do a floss tube as well, so just be prepared for that. Um, I'm not quite thought out what I'm doing yet um, because me and Andy are going away. I've got some time off work from next Wednesday onwards um, and I'm packing an awful lot into into that week. So Lynn uh, comments on my floss tube saying that she loved the live. It was lovely to see you there, Lynn, uh, and it was great you could come and join in. Uh, and I hope to see you on there again. Because, like I said, we have a date in a coffee shop when I get over your way. Um, oh, crikey. Because you're not far from, you're about, I think you said you're about an hour away from Niagara. And Niagara is on my bucket list. Uh, so when I do get to Niagara, I'm coming to see you. Okay. So, my lovely friend Clara comments again on my floss tube to say, beautiful stitching on all of five of your working progresses. I love seeing the purples and the light tans and browns on the one from Pain Free Crafts. Yeah. The the colour palette and that, I just, I, I, I absolutely adore it. It's just beautiful. Um... I've been sitting on the realm of Middle Earth, and I agree. Before I know it, I've got 300 stitches done. <laughs> I was doing it cross country, but got bored. Uh, so I'm now working diagonally. It's funny how some charts work better in a different style of stitching. Yes, I agree. Um, I've mentioned this before, but every one of my charts I stitch in a different way. This one I'm doing 10 by 10 blocks, row by row. Um, I'm doing she sleeps I'm doing it in a circle and then working my way inwards um, I'm doing night cafe the tent stitch um, I'm doing sailing fairy in this method but instead of doing left to right left to right I'm doing left to right right to left left, left to right right to left I'm doing my Josephine wall on an 80 by 80 block and then moving the hoop because it lends itself very nicely and it just fits right on my hoop uh, to do an 80 by 80 section at a time. So, yeah, you know, the realm of Middle Earth, it's an 80 by 80 column. Uh, no, 80 by 10 column that I do each time. So, yeah, I absolutely agree. Depending on the piece, depends on how I stitch it and I just sort of make it up randomly as I go along it's never intended it's just the way that it happens the way that it falls in you know to that so yeah love it It, it gives a little bit of interest as well. It stops you get for me, it stops me getting bored. <laughs> if I do everything in a slightly different way, it's, it's like something fresh every time I pick up a new piece. Works for me. Definitely works for me. And she also says uh, she can't wait to see which kit um, that me and Andy chose as well. She's stitching this park thread because it's annoying me now. Okay. Norma says, such great progress on all your projects. Love seeing all that I've worked on this week. Yeah. I think, oh, cracker. I think that by stitching a thousand stitches in each and then rotating, it seems to work. And obviously, Mary Princess gets extra time where I can because it's closest to a finish. Um, you know, I mean, one day I've actually had three pro three different projects out during the day because I had like 100 stitches on one piece to get to a 1,000. Then I did my 1,000 stitches on the next piece. And then I started on the next piece, which I got about four or 500 stitches in. So, you know, weekends are really now my favourite stitchy time. 
Um, because if I'm not going anywhere or doing anything, I can get loads done. It's marvellous. really is. I find as well that even if Andy's children are here, Andy tends to take them out somewhere and I get the house to myself. I can just sit here in my little stitchy spot all day long. Nobody bothers me. And I just crack on. Norma says, again, such great progress on all my projects. And she loves seeing all that I've worked on uh, this week. 9.30. Got a few confetti stitches coming up, but it's filling in this little butterfly. Uh, Daphne Chamberlain. Hello, Daphne. It's been a while, I think, since I've seen a comment from you. Um, it's lovely to see you commenting here. Great progress. Can't wait to see you picked. Have a great week. And then again, Sharon says, lovely work and progress. Yeah, it's a good word, that progress. You know, I, I'm really, you know, I think I'm doing about 6,000 stitches a week at the moment. Um, which, considering I'm three days a week in office, Thursday's a kind of a write-off day because I'm in the office. I might do a, a bit of stitching first thing before I leave. I might do a bit of stitching in the office. But because the Thursday evening's weighing, I do not... Um, I don't at all get a chance to stitch in an evening because by the time I get back, it's sort of quarter to nine and then I've got to eat and things. And by the time I've eaten, you know, make something to eat and eat, um, it, it's very late and I don't want to stitch at that time. I just really kind of want to get ready and go to bed. So Thursdays, I don't get very much stitching done. Tuesdays and Wednesdays aren't, great either if truth be known because of you know traveling into office um but the weekends i've kind of changed my sunday routine slightly at home as well rather than have our sunday our sunday dinner at sort of four o'clock which we've been doing four o'clock in the afternoon we've actually brought it forward to sort of one o'clock um because my stepdad comes and as it's now dark at sort of half past three or getting dark at half past three, I want to make sure that, you know, he's able to, to get home and it not be, you know, dark because he, he's, he's not keen on driving in the dark. And at 80 years old, who would be? Um, so, you know, I sort of encourage him to come earlier, have his dinner earlier, go home earlier he can get home in the light. He can go and walk the dog and what have you. And then, you know, he's not worrying about, you know, driving in the dark. So, you know, that's, that's sort of how we've, we've kind of changed things up a little bit. <clears throat> so I get to stitch in the morning, as usual. And then he, my stepdad will leave it around sort of three o'clock-ish, I've got about, I've got two or three hours, uh, well, a good, well, my life's at eight o'clock. So I've got the time between then and eight o'clock, barring a few bits and pieces that I do in the meantime, to sit and stitch. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's lovely. Just look like these are all going to be ninjas.
Okay, so Danny Cross Stitch says, Congratulations, uh, on Andy, on the 100,000. That's amazing. She saw she missed the live. It wasn't until uh, later in the week that she could catch up. No apologies needed. You know, I absolutely understand that sometimes people can't always make the live. And, you know, that's why I publish them afterwards so that, you know, you guys can get that second look. So... Uh, I have got a comment on my last stitch with me, but I'm going to save that until the next one. So we've got a nice sort of end point. Uh, I think I ended the last one with Danny Cross Stitch's uh, comments as well. But yeah, another lovely lot of comments today. Um, and again, great to read, great to receive. And I do enjoy... Uh, answering as well. Let me just check. I think I might have had an email one as well. I've not mentioned. Yeah, so with this one is an email that I have. Uh, so the lady who emailed me did watch the stitch with me where uh, I mentioned her question. I haven't done enough stitches. Good job I didn't snip that off, isn't it? <laughs> I'm really learning a lot from your style of stitching. I said, dislike parking now. Uh, I'm amazed at your ability to talk, stitch and mark off. I don't know where it's come from. I'm just sort of being able to fall into doing that. <laughs> uh, sometimes she says she does look at Pat and Keeper and forgets why. Uh, I hear you on that one. Uh, I've had, you know, occasional times when I've looked at Pat and Keeper and thought, what am I doing? What am I doing? And she also very kindly says that uh, she loves my floss tubes and I've become her absolute favourite, which is which is lovely. Um, I, I like to be able to sort of, you know, make, make that kind of impression on people that what I'm doing is, is useful. It's that people like it and, you know, I've got... I'm now up to sort of, you know, 1,370 subscribers or something like that. And it's still amazing that so many people do want to watch my videos, I'll be honest. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't get, you know, masses of views per video. And I know that everybody subscribed doesn't watch every video. Um, which I absolutely understand. I mean, I, I subscribe to a lot of YouTubers. And I look at the, you know, they'll publish a video and I look at the title of it and I'm like, yeah, I'll watch that. Oh, no, I'm not fussed on that one this week. I'll give that a swerve. So, you know, I, I absolutely understand that not everybody watches every video. Um, but, you know, considering I get a good number of views on a lot of them, I, I can't grumble. I really can't. Um, I don't, I mean, obviously YouTube is monetized. I don't earn a lot of money from my YouTube um, videos. But it is enough for me to sort of tuck away and then, you know, have a treat for the family every now and then. Which is, you know, which is how I, you know, I mean, I've got more cross-stitch stuff than I know what to do with. I've got kits, I've got thread, I've got fabric. If I never bought another kit again, I would still be stitching to the end of my days. So, you know, the money that I earn from YouTube, I pop in a savings account. And uh, over the summer, it went, um, it was spent during some holiday. 
Um, I'm taking Lauren to Manchester in a couple of weeks. I'm taking Lauren, uh, Hannah to Nottingham next week. So they'll see the benefit of some of that too because it's helped to pay for hotels and travel. Um, so, you know, just sort of doing this and you guys watching and supporting by watching the videos and not skipping the ads and things, which I know are annoying. I get annoyed at them too. But for a small content creator like me, if you don't skip the ads and I earn that ad revenue, which isn't very much, it's about, you know, not point not one or something per ad or something silly like that. Not very much, but all ads and it goes into the pot um, for, you know, a few extras for the girls. So they benefit too. I mean, Andy's video, his earnings are a lot higher than mine. They're, you know, five plus times more than mine. But it means that his channel is getting to be self-supporting now. And if he carries on the way he's doing, if he has another video that, like the last one that got to 100,000, he'll be able to give up work and focus on YouTube full time. So... And that's what he's hoping for. I know I'll not be able to do that on a cross stitch channel. It just won't happen. But what I am doing is just nice enough just to give us that little bit of a treat. And it's thanks to everybody who watches. So I'm going to pop in this thread and then I am done uh, because I've got work today. And with the stitches that are down for this one, I would have done a hundred, uh, hundred and nine, hundred and ninety stitches, which isn't bad considering I've had a few colour changes. It's a shit. It's a. It's a pity. I was going to say shame or pity, and I nearly said something with a shirt at the beginning and an itty at the end. <laughs> it's a shame I've not been able to complete this little butterfly. But you'll see it in my floss tube next week. Or I might even, if you're on Instagram and you are following me on there, I might even pop in a picture on Instagram of it. If you, aren't, if you do have Instagram and you're not following me, my Instagram handle, I suppose, is at simply a stitcher all one word um and uh I'm, I'm not posting very regularly on there at the moment which is a bit naughty um but you know i i am trying to remember to go on there and post a bit more often so with that said i'm going to clear off not 190 it's 180 stitches i've done which is still isn't bad but i'm going to clear off because i've got work today um the kids are going in the little school around the corner and uh, that's my signal to get up and do what i need to do and get logged on it's friday today so just one more day and then that is it for the weekend thank god for the weekend we do like a weekend so as ever uh, my schedule is unchanged i release frost tube on a tuesday stitch with me on a wednesday and on a friday they will vary between asmr music and chatty as this one has been a chatty my next one will be an asmr and then every every Sunday evening at 8 p.m. UK time, you can join me for a Flush Tube Live. The live is set so that unless you are a subscriber, you can't make a comment in the live chat box. So, you know, there is no better time to go and subscribe to the channel. Um, so with that said... Uh, three videos coming up on your screen. If you've not taken the time to watch them so far, please do go and have a look. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, hovering over the top right will take you to the little eye. 
where it goes to how I start and end my threads video. But all that's left to say is thanks very much for watching from both me and Andy for his channel too. Take care, happy stitching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now, everybody.